SEO Minion was one of the most helpful SEO Chrome extensions out there. But now, that's no longer the case. The reason being is not simply because it's a paid tool to use any feature, but because they haven't added any useful features in a while. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you a Chrome extension that far exceeds SEO Minion and you don't have to pay a penny for it. And that extension is called the Easy SEO extension and you can find it on the Chrome store for free. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use it. So let's get straight into this. So we've got this demo site over here. And if you download the Easy SEO extension, it shows you a whole bunch of stuff. So it shows you the meta title and meta description and you can see if it's too long or if it's too short. And you can see the canonical will show you if it's self-referencing, will show if you if the page is um, allowed to be indexed, the status code, the page size, the robots, the word count, the publisher, the lang tag. It'll give you some hidden checks, like in this case, a missing H1. So if you go to the subheadings, there's no H1. And it'll give you a link to the robots and sitemap file, as well as a summary of the heading links and images. So it just gives you a nice overview. So another example of that is, let's say, this page over here. We'll take a look at it. The overview tab and this page is a little slow. So it's got multiple H1s and a training slash. So multiple H1s, as you can see here, there are multiple H1s. There should be only be one H1 per page. And if we type in the forward slash, it doesn't redirect to the non-forward slash version. So there are two versions of the website. However, in this case, there is a canonical, so it won't be considered duplicate content. However, if you look at this site over here, if you type in the forward slash, there is no canonical. So if it's self-referencing, there's the self-referencing canonical and it's going to be considered duplicate content. Because we, again, if we look at a non-forward slash version, it's also a self-referencing one. So that's an issue that this site has. And again, it, reveal, it reveals a bunch of hidden stuff. So instead of it, instead of you having to search out the problems, it'll tell you the problems. You can see the subheadings, as well as highlight the subheadings. It'll give you an overview of the page. And it's a nicer user experience than the, um, the SEO minion. You can see the images and it'll give you a link to the images instead of having to export it. You can just paste it into your CMS. You can see the images of the missing alt text, the large image files, which are image files above 100 kilobytes, and images without a modern format, which are non-WebP images. And Google recommends um, WebP images, as well as check the links. So we'll scan all the links on the page. If it's green, it's working. If it's red, it's a broken link. And if it's amber, then that timed out, so it'll show you any broken links. And you can also export the links as well. So very simple, straightforward. So schema, it'll show you the schema, and it's not just a stack of um, code, it'll niche it up and then make it look nice. So we've got organization schema here, or website schema, you could say. And very simple, very, very straightforward. You've got the JavaScript check, so if you don't know, Google crawls your website in two stages. So it'll be the HTML via first and then the JavaScript. So you want all the stuff you want Google to crawl as soon as possible. I call your links, your metadata. You want all of that to be seen without the JavaScript being enabled. So you can check that by disabling the JavaScript and go through these checks over here as well as an SEO tips tab and you'll get recommendations of what to do. Now here's where it gets interesting. So we've got semantic sniper here. So let's say the keyword you're going for is tailored dog food delivery. So what this will do, if you hit search, it'll Google this keyword and it'll pull out all the relevant semantic related keywords. So for example, the if you type in a keyword, if you look at the meta description, if it's bolded, that means it's a semantically related keyword. Also pull out, people also ask, as well as Google Auto Suggest, as well as people also search. So for example, example, you got custom here, which is a synonym of tailored. So uh, you've got the 
uh, FAQ section. So what is tailored dog food? And the list goes on. So this will help you with not only keyword research, but help you find semantically related keywords. Now here's the really powerful tool, Keyword King. And you don't need an API key to, to use this. You can still use it for free. And let's just say you're going for best graphics card. So best graphics card for, and then this will finish off. So let's just say A to Z. And it doesn't show the search volume. And there's really no need. The reason why is because all of this data comes from the Google autocomplete everything. So, you know, each one has search volume. So best graphics card for Cyberpunk 2077, Reddit. So that's probably not something you'd want to rank for because someone else is, uh, they have the intent of going on Reddit. But here's what makes this tool really powerful. It's the all entire result feature. So if you type in the, if you click this, it'll show you the all entire results. So it'll show you the all entire results and it'll give you a keyword difficulty score. However, just take the keyword difficulty with a pinch of salt. There's no way for a tool to 100% determine the keyword difficulty. And you've also keep in mind, you need to keep in mind semantic search as well. So even though it says, uh, may say low competition for a particular um, keyword, so let's say best graphics card for 1440p, doesn't have any all entire results, but if you Google it, it says best GPU for 1440p. So that's essentially the same thing. So you've got to take it with a pinch of salt and do your due diligence. However, this is what I like to do, is I get all the all entire results, export it to CSV, as you can do um, here, and then sort the all entire results from A to Z. And that's the easiest way to find some really low competition keywords. So for example here, I've gone ahead and exported the results, the all entire results. So if you scroll down, you can see the, the ones that have uh, a lot of all entire results. So I've gone ahead and sorted them from A to Z. And I found this one, just this literally took me two seconds. Best graphics card for 650 watt PSU. So type that in. And number one, you've got a, um, a, key, a page that it, it hits the intent well. Um, it's a listicle type of post, but it's missing images. So it's not very user friendly. It doesn't link out to uh, any recommended source. So you could probably outrank this. However, there's a Reddit, there's a, a forum here. There's this PDF, which you could just use and make your own. You could just copy that. And another uh, forum. So this is a very easy way to find some really low competition keywords. Again, you don't need a search volume data because all of this has search volume data because it's Google autocomplete. And where this tool gets really powerful is when you start clustering uh, similar keywords. So you'll have, you'll be going for semantically related keywords. So you'll be getting traffic from lots of different keywords. And that's basically it. This the only thing this tool doesn't do currently that uh, SEO Minion does is export the uh, people also ask. So SEO Minion, Minion has this thing where as you probably already know, it'll export a bunch of the all of the people also ask section, but this will be added soon. And you can that and there's a better alternative. You have an actual full, full on um, keyword tool you could use called Keyword King. And if you want to use the tool to its full potential, you can just buy a $7 trial, sorry, a $1 trial for seven days, and you'll get a thousand keywords, 500 all entire results. You can even upload your own keywords so it's not expensive at all and you'll get a bunch of credits that you can use so that's pretty much it for this video that's a, this a great alternative and i hope you enjoyed this